when you start from <clears throat> down dog, please. Can I take a down dog? Just hold and hold it for one hour and then go. <laughs> Three. Can bend knees, can load arms, can find places. The lower back, glutes, back of your legs, spine them. Bend your knees, knees down on the ground. Sit on your heels, arms on your knees, hands on your knees. So I'm, I'm just working myself to the floor. You can use a book or yoga block or whatever. You can place it underneath your hip bones and try to lower down, going into a hero pose. So you're trying to get your heels to the outside of your hips and, and gradually trying to sit between your heels. Knees staying on the floor and possibly uh, pulled together. Keep on breathing. I like to get into the forearm, so I bring my fingers to my heel direction, my palms on my pads and my feet, and then just start to work with torquing the arms, so spinning the biceps forward, and try to stretch out that way as well. Go on all four, please. Left leg reach back, right arm reach forward. Just hold them, just hold them. Down on the ground, other arm, other leg. Just holding it there, your body is smart enough, intelligent enough to work on it. You don't have to think too much. Quietness is a better thing to do. On the ground, I plank pose. From here, lower yourself to the ground, come up to up dog. Just working on modified up dog right now, if you want to. You can even do a Stuart Cobra, keeping the tops of your feet on the floor, lifting a uh, little arm strength, just lifting with your low back. Chin stays neutral. Or you can place your palms on the floor, keep your knees on the mat, and just come into a modified up dog. Try to uh, avoid the shrug of the shoulders, pulling the shoulder blades down and back, and spinning the biceps forward. Or you can come off your knees if you're ready. Pressing on the tops of your feet for an upward dog. Take it to down dog, please. Come back all the way to up dog. Hold it for a few seconds, 10, 20 seconds.
they get to dawn dog. Come back again to up dog. So if you do this leg, then lower slowly to the mat. Inhale to your uh, back bend, cobra, modified up dog, or up dog. Down dog again, please. Go back down to uh, on the floor, push straight up to your plank, and then back to down dog. So working on strength as well. Basically a, a push up. Repeat that again. Back to plank, lower down slow. Inhale to your back bend of choice. Make sure you include the neck in that back bend. Back to down dog again. Well, we lower, push the plank, and then to down dog. He does one more time. Back to down dog, okay? Okay, walk forward with your legs all the way. Scrub off with the elbows right there. Just forward fold, grabbing your elbows in front of your body. Just really uh, focusing on hinging from the waist. Letting everything fall and it just gravity take over on the spine. This can bring up feelings of anxiousness, feelings of struggling, of letting go. So just enjoy kind of working through that, observing yourself. Come to 90 degree with your arms, reach back. Hold it. Here's a good time to work your heels so you're not moving your feet, but you're just taking the skin of the heel and just fanning it out. And you can feel the bum bones separate. And as you do that, you try to straighten, regularly straighten your knees, but not coming back on your heels, staying on that center arch. On inhale, stand up, arms over your head. On exhale, fall forward again one more time. Arms on the ground, take your legs back, drop down. Next it, I put on, push it all the way to down there. Walk forward with your legs all the way. Go forward. Come to 90 degree one more time. Reach back. Stand up tall all the way. Arms up, palm forward. Exhale, palms on the ground. Take your legs back. Look up, take your legs all the way. Slow down. Up the again head. Exhale, down there. Bring your right leg in front, arms all palm together. Yeah, 
going to do some salutation for you. Palms on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, up dog in hand. Exhale, down dog. Other leg in front, arms up, palms in. Palms on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, up dog in hand. Exhale, down dog. Let's repeat this one more time. Right leg in front, arms up, palms together. Palms on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, up dog in hand. Exhale, down dog. Other leg in front, arms up, palms together. Palms on the ground, please take your legs back. Slow down, up dog in hand. Exhale, down dog. Hold it on dog. You're gonna hold it from for five deep breaths and take it one minute hold. On the side plank, bend your right knee to the ground, modify side plank. Hold it there. You lift your top leg up to the neck. Bring the leg forward. Just bringing the leg to the side. Bring your leg back again one more time. Bring your leg down and to your... You can reach forward with your arms, circle it down. Take it. Take Opposite take it. arm and leg reaching. So I just took my left hand on the floor, keep my left leg in the air, and I'm reaching my right arm forward. Down on the ground. Take a down dog again. Take it to the other side. Bring the other knee. So modified side plank. Bring your leg forward. Back again. Reach the arm over your face, bend through the outer edge of your foot and into your fingertips. Circle the right palm on the floor. Keep the right leg up and extend the left arm forward. Put your leg down, put your arm down, switch side. We're going to bend our leg back and grab our shin. Kick back with your leg, lift your chest up. Let go of it, down on the ground, switch side. Reach back, grab your shin. Kick back. Let go of it. Down on the ground. High plank pose. 
super slow, three push-ups, go low, come back up, keep on breathing, lower your body, and done, take it down the other Come to high plank pose hold. Back to down dog again. Hold. Three. Try not to anticipate where we're going. Just try to look. Enjoy where we are, take the posture to its full stretch. Just ease your mind. Going back to the side plank one more time. Bring your left knee down on the ground. On the chin. You want to get into the side body, you can reach that top arm over your face. Bring your leg to the in front of you. Taking the right leg to the in line with the hip, to the side body. And open that left arm back as well. Try to create rotation through your chest. Include your head and neck. Back to the center. Down on the ground. Leg your stay up, opposite arm up. Bend your leg back, grab your shin, kick back. Try to include your neck and head in this. As you soften your eyes, just as you kick into your hand, kick back with glute strength, trying to arch the spine in the back of the head to touch the toes. Good forward. Down on the ground, back to down dog. Hold it. And take it to the other side. Bring the other knee down. So right knee down. Leg off the leg and arm up. You can increase that stretch by lifting up the ribs to the ceiling, bringing the top arm over the face. Fingers reaching forward, outer edge of your back foot reaching back. Bring your leg forward. Bring your arm back up to shoulder height. Bring your left leg forward, and now you can rotate and reach back to the wall behind with your arm as you reach to the side wall with your foot. Back to the center. And back to side, side plank. Bring your hand down, leg it stay up, other arm off the ground. Bend your leg back, grab your shin, kick back. Let go of it. Down on the ground, come to high plank again. Push up three. Remember how we did it. Try to get your chin to touch the mat only. Do your push up. Come up three times. Come to up dog. Upward dog. Come to high plank. Go to down dog and hold. Your legs walk forward all the way. Fall forward. Left leg off the ground, reach up on the ceiling. Come up all the way to warrior three. So for warrior three, I'm lifting my arms wide. And then I'm just going to reach them to the wall behind. My fingertips and my toes reach back the top of my head. Just focusing on making it forward. 
Your arm is forward now. Arms on the ground, leg up. Gently bring your knee to your chest. Stand all the way. Arms over your head. Bring your hand to prayer pose and hold. Let go of it, everything under the floor. Arms up, palms together. Exhale, fold forward, palms on the ground. Look up, take your legs back all the way. Slow down, up the inhale. Exhale, down. Walk feet forward again one more time. Other leg off the ground, if you remember, probably. Your right, right leg, up. your right leg. Arms off the ground, warrior three. Reach back, if you have to. Stand up, knee to your chest. Bring your hand to the chest. Draw your legs on the ground. On top, palm together. Exhale, forward, forward. Arms on the ground. And look up. Take your legs back all the way. So down, up the again half. Exhale, down. <laughs> You can hear me. You can hear me. Bring your right leg in front, arms up, palm together. High lunge. High lunge. High lunge. Back heel off the mat, guys. We're just sinking down to our pelvis, sinking down. Bring opposite elbow on your knee. Reach forward first, gather legs, and then you're going to twist. Bring your opposite elbow to your knee. Include your head and neck if you're comfortable. Look up to the ceiling. See if we can open arms. Or if we can wrap around. Look down on the mat, palms on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, after again here. Exhale down. Other leg in front. Back the heel off the ground. Opposite the arm, opposite the elbow on your knee. I'm just going to reach forward first and then twist. Open arms if you have it in you. Wrap yourself around if you can. Oh, 
palms on the ground, take your legs back again, slow down, up to again. Exhale down. Bring the other leg in front one more time, arms on palm together. Back leg heel off the ground. Reach back for your back leg heel. Come back to your center, palms on the ground, take your legs back, slow down, up the inhale, exhale down the arm. Other leg in front, arms up on together. Back leg heel up, reach back. Arms on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, up the again head. Exhale, down the arm. With your legs, walk forward all the way. Hands on your shin, come up halfway. As your arms go up, bend, bend, bend your knee, come up all the way to chair pose. Hold, hold, hold. Stand tall all the way. Inhale, arms up, palm together. Exhale, fold forward, palms on the ground. Inhale, look up, take your legs back all the way. Slow down, up the again. Exhale, down. Right leg in front, arms up, palm together. Now, warrior one now. Warrior two. Palms on the ground, take it. Slow down, up the again head. Exhale, down the Other leg in front, arm drop palm together. Palms on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, up the again head. Exhale, down the right leg in front, arms up, palm together. Bring your arm to warrior two. Palms on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, up the again. Exhale, down the other leg in front, arms up, palm together. Arms open to warrior two. Arms on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, up the again head. Exhale, down the right leg in front. Arms up, palm together. Reach forward, back leg off the ground to warrior three. Down on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, up the again head. Exhale, down the arm. Other leg in front, arms up, palm together. Back leg, heel up, reach forward, warrior three. Down on the ground, take your legs back, slow down, up the again head, exhale down the and hold. Right leg in front, arms up, palm together, high lunge. Bring opposite elbow on your knee. All 
Microphones open if you have it. Don't come out of the post, arms on the ground, inside the leg, you're gonna go to lizard pose all the way. So arms down, if you can keep your back knee off the mat. Remember your knee is always tracking over your toes. Whatever direction your toes go, your knee follows. If you need to, you can drop your back leg knee, top of your foot on the mat. But if you can, try to stay on your toes with that leg. Focusing on finding that lower breastbone and pulling it through the shoulder line. Don't come out of the pose. Come to eye plank. Front knee straight. You yeah, adjust your back leg. Fall. I'm just bringing my hands to either side of my foot. Focusing on lifting both my kneecaps. My front hip is rising up as my back hip is dropping down. Then the opposite side, for reverse triangle pose. So you can take your left hand and bring it to your shin of your right side or the top of your right foot. Or if you have a yoga block, you can place it here. Because what we're trying to do is lengthen this spine first. If you don't have a yoga block, maybe a quick look. And then open your arms and add in a rotation from belly button all the way to the top of the head. Trying to stack shoulders in one long line as you twist. Encourage the neck to bring the chin in line with your top shoulder. So add rotation to the neck, get into the fascia of the neck as you twist. Palms on the ground, put your legs back. Slow down, up the inhale. Exhale, down dog. Bring the other leg in front. That's your left leg. High lunge. Bring opposite elbow on your knee. And we add that leg before we twist. When you twist, don't let that back hip sag down to the floor. Try to keep your hips square. And add rotation from belly button up only. So what I do is when I twist, I actually lift that back hip up to the ceiling to minimize that rotation of the low back hip. Oh, I really okay. just wanted to work on the rotation of the mid back and neck. So I lift that back hip up as I twist. And keep your arms open. You have it in your arms open. Still lifting that back hip up. Don't come out of it. Arms on the ground, inside the leg, go on your elbows, back leg knee down if you need to. Come to high plank pose again. Bring your back leg forward. Straighten forward. both your knees. You work on squaring the hips. Again, you can find something that elevates your hands to find the spinal leg first. If you find that you're collapsing your spine, then you need some support, some height get that length of your spine first. If 
the golden triangle. Just gonna bring that right hand somewhere along your left leg, shin, maybe even higher for you because your hamstrings are so tight, your cord of your spine is so tight, you might need to come up higher to get that length of your spine first. So go down any depth that you can maintain the spinal length. Bring your palm down, palms on the ground, take your foot back. Go down, up leg, inhale. Exhale, down. Then you right leg in front, arms or palm together. Interlock your fingers behind your back. Keep your front knees straight. Go forward all the way. Right arm up as best as you can. Bring your arm down. Come back up. And your brownie arms open, warrior two. And I'm going to take my back leg for a two, three foot step back. And we're going to stand into a warrior two. Reach forward, take off from the ground with your back leg. That's when you get it, you need a yoga block. Keep it close. Working on half moon. Front hand is about 12 inches in front of your baby toe. The top arm is spinning up. If you can look up towards your top hand, do so. Come down again to warrior two. Once you're crony, palms on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, up the inhale. Exhale, down, down. Bring the other leg in front, and drop palm together. Interlock your fingers behind your back, draw near straight. So I'm gonna bring my back foot about two to three feet forward. Not too narrow. Fold forward, rise around. Bring your arm down, come back up towards your two. Reach forward, take off from the ground with your back leg. Back to warrior your two again. Arms on the ground, put your legs back. Slow down, up leg in here. Exhale down. Right leg in front, arms up, palms together. Back leg heel off the ground. Bring your palm on the ground inside your leg. One more day back to lizard pose. Walk away from your leg. Back to the center again. 
they could all move to pigeon pose. So I'm gonna, in order to do that, I'm gonna drop my back leg knee down on the mat. So I come up onto my hand, and then I'm just gonna heel toe my opposite foot across to my, my right foot across to my left hand. And then I'm gonna come down. Then your arm walk back up. Then your back leg. See if you can grab your back leg to the opposite arm. Hold, chain, heel. Let go over the leg. Go yourself down one more time. Just forward. Arms on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, up to the inhale. Exhale, go. Other leg in front, arms up, palm together, back leg heel off the ground. Arms on the ground, inside your leg, then front forearm. See if you can walk away from your leg. Come back to your center again. Come up onto your hand. Back with me down if you need to. Heel toe your right, left foot over to your right wrist. The pigeon. Walk back with your arm, come to height. Then to your back leg. See if we can grab your back leg toe at leg shin. Arms on the ground, walk forward again one more time. Arms on the ground, take your legs back. Slow down, up the inhale. Exhale, down. Walk or jump forward with your legs. Go forward. Open your arms, come up all the way. Big inhale, palms touch. Exhale, fold forward, palms on the ground. Inhale, loop up, take your legs back again. Slow down, up to inhale. Exhale, down. Come to high plank, pose again. Turn to your left side all the way. Bring your left knee down on the ground. Right leg off the mat. Right leg reach all the way in front of you again. With top arm reach forward. On the job for the ceiling, leg go back, down on the ground, other arm off the ground. Then your leg back again, see if we can grab your leg, kick back again. Leg forward, down on the ground, high plank pose. 
Keep on dog. Come back to high for line pose again. Go to the other side. Knee down on the ground. Leg off the ground. Arm reach up. Leg reach forward. Arm reach back. Arm, arm only reach back to the center and reach forward over your head. Back to the center, they go back, down on the ground, opposite arm of the ground. Bend your leg back, grab your shin, kick back with your leg, reach up. So with your supported hand and leg, pressing that into the floor, but you're lifting up with the leg that's kicking back. Lift forward. Down on the ground, high plank pose. Take it on dog again. Right again, front arms are formed again. Back leg heel off the ground. Bring opposite elbow on your knee. See if you can wrap yourself around again one more time. Bottom chest pointing up to ceiling or trying to. Sit down on the ground, palms on the ground, on lizard pose again one more time. Walk away from your leg. Back to the center. Come to high plank pose. Take your leg back all the way. Take your down dog all the way. Other leg in front. Uh, drop palm together. Back leg heel off the ground. Bring opposite elbow on your knee. See if you can wrap yourself around. Arm open. Down on the ground, arms on the ground, go on your forearms, walk away from your leg. Back to your center again. High for nine pose, take your leg back. Slow down, off the again. Extend up. Walk forward with your legs all the way. Both forward, grab opposite elbows right there. Hands on your sheet, lift half the way through, bend your knee, arm over your head, palm touch. Stand up all the way, arms back to your side. Go on your back legs off to this. Arms open, palms down to the ground. Take your legs to your left side all the way and hold them. Back up to the center again. Take your legs to the other side all the way and hold. Your legs back up again, knees to your chest. Grab your 
روابط از در گذار آنشی Let go of your right leg all the way. Switch there. The chest, heels on the ground, extend your legs forward. Just be there for a second or two. This is it for now, guys. See tomorrow, 5 30. 5 15. 5 15, yeah. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs>